Well, hello, good people. Today, I wanted to talk to you about various styles that you can utilize within Automatic 11.11. I think we can all agree SDXL 1.0 is a way better base model than SD 1.5. Now, if you're anything like me, I like to discover new styles on my own and save them locally here on Automatic 11.11. However, if you're just starting out in your beginning or maybe you've been doing this a while and you just want to venture into new styles, I want to show you an extension you can use as a basis for a new style and another resource where you can get a lot more styles. So first off, let's go into our extensions tab here. Head on over to available. And then you want to click on load from. I'm just going to uncheck installed here so I can actually show you what it looks like. And then in the search field, just put in styles. And then look for this extension. Now this was made specifically for SDXL 1.0. However, you could probably still use it for Stable Diffusion 1.5. All you need to do is click on the install button, head back to installed, check for updates as usual, and then click on apply and restart. Now, if we click on the URL here, it's going to bring you to this GitHub page with some information regarding the extension. And if you scroll down towards the bottom to this link, it brings you to another GitHub page where this was basically based off that was made for Comfy UI. So in short, this is also available for Comfy UI. Now, how this works is really simple. Once you restart Automatic 11.11, if you scroll down, you're going to see this tab for SDXL styles. Open it up here with the drop down, and you'll have some options here. Make sure to click on Enable Style Selector. You have various options too to randomize the style, randomize for each iteration, and it looks like you could even do like a whole batch of all the styles if you wanted to. But if you look at all the options here, there are 77 styles while well, including the base model. And you simply just have to pick something you want. So let's say I wanted to do something in the style of Super Mario. So I'm just going to simply put in the prompt here, Pikachu as Super Mario. And I'm going to click on generate. We'll just generate one image for now and use like 25 sampling steps. So you see here we have Pikachu as Super Mario. Pretty cool. And by the way, obviously I'm using the SDXL base model, but you can also experiment with other SDXL models as well. Just to show you a few more examples, this was like an Assassin's Creed type of prompt that I put in. This style was the space style. Here's the cinematic style, analog film. Tribal, Legend of Zelda, one of my favorites, Techwear Fashion, <laughs> but you get my point. And if you look at the description here, my prompt ends here at sharp focus. These additional words were put into the prompt as part of the style, along with some built-in negative prompts. So if you're wondering what modifier words were used, so they are recorded so that you can even tweak them and perhaps save them as your own styles. Now, with that being said, there's going to be a point where you want to customize these styles and whether you know or not, you can actually save your own styles in automatic 1111. So I'm just going to populate one here. Let's do an anime one. Let's say I made this from scratch. What I would do is take out the main portion of the prompt and leave all the modifiers there. You would then go to the save icon here and give the style a name right here. Once you press OK, it's going to save it in this area here. So when you click on the drop down, you have all these styles to choose from. But instead of doing it all manually yourself, there's another resource that we can use to load all these styles that you see here. I don't know how many exactly there are. There's a lot. There's enough to keep you busy. As always, I'm going to leave the links in the description below, but you basically just have to come to this page here, go under code and you'll see the download zip file here. Just download this onto your computer. You'll have a zip file here called SDXL A1111 styles, select extract all. And then once extracted, you'll see the folder here. We're going to open it up. You'll see another folder here, open that up. And then you'll see this one called all in one styles. To be honest, I didn't even open this one up. I think this one's the latest, but you want to double click on that and you'll see a styles CSV file. Now, if we were to open it up using notepad or wordpad or whatever you have, you'll see all the various styles in text form, but you don't need to do anything to this. 
on Windows 11, you can open a new tab and then go to your automatic 1111 folder under Stable Diffusion Web UI. You may or may not have already a styled CSV file here. If you already have this file because you've been using styles, I do warn you to manually copy and paste into this file instead of dragging it into the folder because it's going to overwrite this file. But if you haven't been using styles up to this point, just grab that file that we just looked at and either copy and paste it or bring it in manually like so. I've already done this. I'm just going to click out of it. So when you come back to automatic 1111, you just have to click refresh here. When you click on the drop down, you'll see all these styles that are now available. So if we look under the culture movies prompts, we can even pick the matrix. We're going to click on this icon to apply the style here. It looks like it's an anime style. Let's put in something like Keanu Reeves as Neo dynamic action pose. Something simple. Let's generate. And here we have our matrix anime style image. Not bad, eh? So again, you can always apply art styles, other artist styles, and save this how I showed you in the beginning to add even more styles to this. But this is a long list that will keep you busy for a long time. Now, I hope that was helpful for you guys. And if you happen to be using Comfy UI as well, let me know in the comments below if you want me to show you how to install that as well. It's pretty straightforward. Just follow the instructions in the link below. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.